Welcome back to, to the, the fort. fort. And we are here, it is July 17th, and we're here for a very special occasion. That's right. Today is the first official day of the reopening of the Trails End restaurant here at the fort. Yes, now we're not going to be able to show you the breakfast, but we are going to be able to show you the dinner. We have reservations. Drove up for the day just to go and check it out for you guys and we're gonna check it out and see what they got to offer down there at Charles End. now keep in mind p and j st still the same menu that's right p and j hasn't separate. changed but now it's a different story over here at the trails end yeah so come join us for dinner So this is the first day of the reopening. Look, they have plates. I'm trying to capture it before they start seating. It is, our reservation is for 545. Look, they have the fancy plates. I'll show you what these trees are that are in my way in a second. Definitely not the same silver plates that they used to have. Can't wait to get in here and try the food. So when you walk into the P&J carryout, now they have this blocking the actual carryout area and the restaurant, the Trails End. So like I said, our reservations are at 5.45. They have not started seating yet. I don't know what time the first one is, but they are fully booked. We'll see you in a little bit to see what the food is like.
after they bring you your drinks, you get this bread basket. It's got goat cheese, chive biscuit, cornbread, and hush puppy with pimento spread and honey butter. Next is a mixed greens, grape tomatoes, red onions, cucumbers, white cheddar, cornbread croutons with warm bacon vinaigrette for the salad. And this is the warm bacon vinaigrette in a cute little mason jar. Skillet, it was pecan smoked brisket, rotisserie chicken, and although it wasn't on the menu, they gave us sausage, fingerling potatoes, green beans, butter corn on the cob with chipotle barbecue and Carolina barbecue sauce. So it looks like there's brownie, cherries, whipped cream, a banana. Chocolate covered bacon. Piece of cake or something. And that is chocolate covered bacon. Looks like there's vanilla and strawberry ice cream in there. Oh. And it's in a little hat. That's really cute. So we'll try it and let you know. I do have to say these are the smallest bowls I have ever seen. This is what they gave us for the ice cream. Pretty small. All right. All right, guys, we're going to give you our final thoughts on the Trails End, the grand opening. And this is going to be the re grand opening. Totally honest review from our opinion. Now, we're, we're, I guess we'll just start off with uh, the food. Let's start with the food. Let's start with the food. Okay, so when they first bring you out your bread, there was only Jolly and I sitting there, and they brought out a corn fritter. Uh, cornbread and a biscuit as you okay. saw in the video yeah yep. and it was only one of each and there was two of us so the corn fritter was like this so we <laughs> cut that in half and ate it now could we ask for more yes. yes we probably could ask for more but it probably should have just brought two of each out I would so think we could so. all tried it at the same time so that was one thing as far as the the, the food the biscuit I think was pretty good uh, I only the like the cornbread the cornbread was good and corn fritter, mm. not your like typical corn fritter, I would say. It almost tasted like a like a green pepper in a way, yeah. right? Well, it had goat cheese or something in it, right? The, yeah. the biscuit had goat cheese and then the corn fritter tasted like I bit into a green pepper. Yeah. I don't know what it was, but. Now this could be, you know, I mean, of course our taste may be different from your taste. You guys may absolutely love it. Love it. And love, you guys love. could go try it if you like. Um, but we're just telling you what our opinion is of it. We are pretty simple when it comes to food anyway. We don't just, you know, a simple, whatever it is, cornbread, whatever is good for us. Anyway, let's go to the salad. Now the salad, as you've seen in the video, also wasn't your, I guess it was a healthier salad. It had yeah, a lot of mixed leaves, leafy, leafy greens, and greens and, and stuff like that. And I didn't think the dressing was that bad, but she didn't like it. It so. was some kind of a warm bacon something. Uh, it was a bacon yeah. dressing or something, but I like bacon. But and I'm, I'm not much of a green leafy type of person eating salad anyway. So I don't I mean, usually eat the salad. It was okay. I grabbed a little bit out of there and I ate it. It was okay. And all I ate out of there were the little tomatoes with some salt on them. Yeah. And I will say like uh, the, they said uh, homemade uh, croutons. Yes. So they kind of tasted kind of on the soft side for me. So they were kind of like too soft. Typically from what I eat croutons, I mean, <laughs> they were kind of soft to me. So let's go to the main the main course with everything so you could go ahead and all know, right so as that. you saw in the video it had sausage it had brisket and you had um for the meat and then they had um rotisserie chicken not mm -hmm. fried chicken 
Well, I don't eat sausage. I don't like brisket. And unfortunately for me, I mean, it's a smokehouse uh, skillet. The uh, rotisserie chicken was smoke tasting, which a lot of people like, but I unfortunately do not like. So I ate just a piece of the chicken. I mean, it was edible. It was juicy. It yeah. wasn't dry or anything. Well, she was kind of hoping. She knew going in there that she didn't like the brisket. She knew going in there. I didn't like the sausage. Uh, the sausage and all. So so she knew them were the, maybe not the type of foods that she would eat. But she maybe kinda, the chicken, I was thinking. She was kind of banking on the chicken at the time Why I tried the rest of it out. And as far as uh, for me, I've, the sausage was so-so. I meant nothing for me to run back to, you know. My favorite part of the whole meal was hands down the brisket. The brisket was, you know, I'm I love brisket, and I think the brisket was awesome. I liked it. Uh, it, it you seen in the video how our cor corn looked, and I want to just get into detail about this because <laughs> I was automatically assuming that that's what the corn's supposed to look like. But we looked at other people's corn. After had, we were done eating. Absolutely did not look like that. It looked like it didn't look burnt. Ours, was, ours were burnt. So, <laughs> so our, we didn't eat the corn. We didn't eat the corn. I would have liked it the other way, but I thought it would it just come like that. And and it wasn't that wasn't the way it That's came. That's not the case. So you seen that in the video. Uh, they had these small little potatoes. They were okay. They had a lot of pepper on them though, so um, I didn't eat too many of those either. Uh, like I said, the favorite part for me was the brisket, but for the amount of money, I, I definitely would not go back running for that. Okay? Twenty nine ninety nine per adult. I, I don't. I don't think it's. I don't think personally it was worth it. Uh, I think for the overall experience. Also, oh, let's just get to the ice cream before we go our overall experience. Right. The ice cream was good. The ice cream was good, but it was also a very small amount, as you can see. It was mostly whipped cream. Yeah, it was. It was mostly whipped cream. It had a lot cream. of topping on it and versus any the ice cream. cream. And you've seen the bowls that they give you. The bowl you was really cool. Uh, you could literally get like maybe one or two scoops. Oh, maybe. the little bowl. Yeah, the bowl that you eat the on. The little teeny bowl. I've never seen such a miniature bowl very. for ice cream in my life. Looked like a Petri dish. What do you call it? What? What do you call it? <laughs> Petri dish? What do you call them, them, them test things? Yeah, the yeah. Petri dish. Exactly. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, as far as the overall experience of it, we had to wait pretty a pretty long time compared to a lot of people around us. Yeah, so uh, I think we just got... Uh, we, I mean, the, the waiter, the, the, the cast member was nice, and don't get Super me wrong. Super nice guy. Uh, but as far as, as, I mean, people were getting their dessert before we... I mean, it, it took a while. It took like us, from the main course to the dessert, it took like 20 minutes. And we were After done. we were done, yeah, it took like 20 minutes to get us ice cream. Ice cream, um, and with all that said, I'm going to tell you what I feel about the whole situation. Go ahead. Okay. I think for the campground, as long as we've been coming up to the fort, okay. I think as far as the campground, as far as what it should be, I think it was a thousand times better to have. The buffet. Now, I know we're in different times right now. That's right. And we're still working it out. But I don't think... I think the diversity of the food that you get. Because you have... you Say you have kids. You have different people. Maybe they're here a week or two. I don't think that they would go back there two or three times maybe to get the same thing. Yeah, because you don't have an option. You have the vegetarian and you have the regular. Yeah. Or plant-based. You have yeah. the plant-based, and you have the regular, and then you can, for an additional cost, you can you get, get ribs, ribs. Yep. and there was some kind of a salmon, cornbread, salmon, some kind of salmon, yeah. uh, breaded salmon or Which something. Which you'll see in the video. We took a video of the But I think menu. you're right. But I think, I think that uh, it's missing, like, you know, why not just keep it a little bit simple for the campground? And what I mean by that is fried chicken. A lot of people like fried chicken. Pizza. A lot of people like pizza. A lot of people like mashed potatoes and gravy. French fries. You had a different type of salad at the at, at the at the salad bar with a whole bunch of you know like a couple of different dressings. You had your ice cream. 
you had your your brisket if they, they you, had, you had your turkey you had your muffins and cornbread and uh, I can and green beans you I mean I can keep going on and on all I'm saying is for the price what you got at the before all this for the for the everything that was worth it so all I'm saying is for the price for the how much you got and the the, the diversity of everything that you had to choose from um, for the campground, I think it was better the other way around. And I'm kind of disappointed in the whole situation because I don't foresee myself eating there like I did when it was the buffet. Definitely not. I just don't think I'll be going back as often. So, uh, so what's your final thoughts on that? All right. So my final thoughts are, I agree with you being a picky eater. I think that they maybe should have had different skillets to choose from. Maybe they could have had one that included fried chicken, mashed potatoes, yeah. french fries, basic foods. Yeah. Like more campgroundy food. Maybe even uh, the brisket and yeah. stuff like that. And then have another one that had a smoked option. The, the rotisserie and what, what they're offering now. Keep mm -hmm. that one, but maybe add another skillet to choose from. You know, maybe, it, maybe not the pizza. Okay, maybe that's not a a good dinner thing but a lot of kids like mac and cheese there was no kid yeah. menu there i mean they're still offering mashed potatoes at the p and j mm -hmm. so i don't understand why they yeah. can't just make a separate platter with those staples to offer for the for the dinner as well that's also, all i'm saying because oh, we're i'm definitely not yeah ever going to eat there until or unless they change it yeah because it's not her type of food it may be your it's a type waste of, food, of thirty dollars but for her it's not it's not but I, let me just add this also let's just say hoop de doo review the hoop de doo review is 60 bucks say i can't remember the price off the top of my head because it's been so long <laughs> but you get a show and you get the basics you know what i yeah. mean like a bunch of fried chicken it's everybody if you don't Had like something. this they'll like this but you only got one setting to, to, yeah, that's, either plant-based or not plant-based. So like Scott was saying, I, I think that's right. I think if you're staying here, a family staying here for a week, well, you're not going to go back to the trail's end, I don't think, and spend $30 no, I think it's every a one time, time thing per person yeah. to eat the same thing. Now, if you had the buffet and paid $30, maybe one day you'd eat a lot of the fried chicken. Maybe one day you'd eat a lot of the cut, uh, you know, whatever they were cutting that day, ham, turkey, yeah, ham, the turkey. brisket. Mm -hmm shrimp you know you know what i'm saying the soup yeah maybe yeah. so you have different options if you choose to go several times during your visit but now you're going to go to the restaurant and eat the same thing yeah i don't think yeah. it's gonna i, I don't just think... missed the fort touch about it i think the fort was better with that and i know they probably can't open up a buffet no they can't do that but I think that I, you know, as far as this being a staple, what it needs to be now, that's what it's going to be. Uh, I'm going to miss, I'm going to miss the old <laughs> buffet is what I'm saying. I'm going to miss sure. eating there because we're not going back until, or shame. unless they change it. Yeah. They or add another add, option. Or add options that people don't, you know, that it might, you know, maybe just uh, two other skillets. Yeah. You two know? other, like, just group some other foods together and offer yeah. that as well. Yeah. So with that said, guys, we appreciate you guys watching. Don't yep. forget to like and subscribe. We appreciate it. And remember, it's only our opinion. You guys may like it 100%, and it may be worth your try to just go ahead and just give it a try like we did. That's Even right. though we she tried didn't like, it. She knew she was gonna like it, wasn't going to like it all. We still gave it a try just to see what it was all about. That's right. So, and also to show you guys. With that said, guys, we appreciate it. And we'll see you, hopefully, someday. Here. Here. At, at the, the fort. fort. Take care, guys. Bye. And welcome Let's back to the fort out. and PNJ. Welcome back. That's right, PNJ. Trails in. Welcome back. And I can guarantee you, if you're here the long haul, you would be eating yeah. that more often than oh, you I'm would. Say it again, because a bee just attacked. All right. There he is. Don't hit me. <laughs> Is he coming back? I don't know. All right. Go ahead.